Well, happening right now, take a look. These long lines in Dade City. You see Pasco County residents who lost food during Hurricane Irma are finally allowed to apply for food assistance and get an EBT card to help you get back on your feet. That's right. Those long lines are now at the new location at the Pasco County Fairgrounds, and that's where we find ABC Action News reporter Isabel Rosales. And Isabel, you're actually stuck in traffic right now. Unfortunately, ladies, I am and I am not the only one. That is why we're bringing you this report from our live drive a car right now. The two major roads leading into the fairgrounds at State Road 52 and Clinton Avenue are backed up dramatically. And this uh, fairgrounds just opened up an hour ago. Now we were first to tell you two weeks ago about nearly 400 people that were stuck in line, unaware that this Food for Florida program had been actually pushed back. That is because past Pasco County officials said that they could not handle the lines that they saw in uh, Plant City and Lakeland at the Lando Lakes Recreation Center. Because of that, they had to cancel an agreement with the Department of Children and Families. But today, take a look outside. Today is the day, the first starting day of this program at the new location here in the in the fairgrounds. Now, this unfortunately is what we're seeing two miles out from the fairgrounds, bumper to bumper traffic. These are all people looking for assistance. And why are they here? Well, these are people that had their power out for days, if not weeks. I've been hearing that their food spoiled, and now they're looking for a little help to get that replaced. Now, for anyone looking to hop in line here, know that this lasts up until Wednesday. The starting times are from 7 a.m. to 6 p.m., but as you've seen, you definitely want to get here early, or if not, you're going to get stuck in traffic exactly like us, unfortunately. Live in Pasco County, I'm Isabel Rosales, ABC Action News.